here's Maloney, finds Lee Smith, Lee Smith right hand side, gets a low cross in, Hoskins there, deflected to Moore, bounces off, keeper Moore goes behind for a goal kick, but a position of real promise for Yeovil Town, AJ Lee Smith being used as a winger tonight, getting to the byline, getting it across, and Joey looked like Sam Hoskins and Keeper Moore, both had chances there. One in midfield by Seth Tomasi. It's a high ball forward. Keeper Moore misses out on a header to Robinson, but the ball breaks here for Hoskins. Hoskins into the box, left hand side, gets the crossover, hits the hand. The referee says no penalty. But it definitely hit the hand of a Portsmouth defender. The hand was down by his side, so I guess the referee rules it's not deliberate. Now here's Sam Foley to be enjoying a central midfield role for Yeovil Town. Played there a lot for Newport County before he joined the Glovers. He's been predominantly used as a left-sided player by Yeovil Town. Seth Tomasi finds AJ Lee Smith in space. Midway inside the Portsmouth half. Cuts in field, finds Foley. Foley's got Nathan Smith running through left-hand side. Plays the ball inside the fullback. Smith will get there, keeps it in right by the byline. Batting away the fullback. And it's Wallace getting back there. Wallace does well clear his lines but Nathan Smith showing great pace to get onto that pass from Foley and Wallace actually showing good awareness there 33 minutes on the clock it's nil nil the Oval Portsmouth Johnston's Paint Trophy first round the Oval Town here with, with Moore shoots from distance great save by Paul Jones a snapshot from Keith Moore edge of the box ball just fell to him wasn't particularly much build up play Jones reacts well couldn't hold the ball first time managed to gather it at the second attempt and keeper got good power behind that Sam Foley with this corner from the left hand side it's right footed into the six yard box headed a goal flashed across the target as Ben Nugent runs away from goal Ben got the touch I think it was keeper who had keeper, the header in the end yeah um, it's a great chance there you expect keeper to usually put that away and would have been a great time to score like you said wins the ball back then there's Nugent it's Orford who emerges with it. Now Wallace. This is danger for the Glovers as Wallace just overruns the ball. Momentarily looked really dangerous. Here's Wallace. Wallace plays it in. Plays a 1-2. Wallace in the box. Shooting shot for Wallace. It's a goal for Portsmouth. We knew Jed Wallace was the danger man. A 1-2 with Westcar. A low shot beyond the dive of Chris Wheel and Yeovil Trail. With 54 minutes on the clock. It's Yeovil nil. Portsmouth 1. Orford back in field to Dunn. Dunn loses out though. Has his pocket pick there by Sam Foley options either way for Foley a breakout for Yeovil he's got Hater here Hater in the box shooting chance for Hater angles against him Ertel gets back Hater once more gets the crossover Foley in the box great turn Sam Foley shoots wide Sam Foley hooks it wide the first shot was blocked the next one was just skewed wide of his left foot the turn was brilliant it opened up the chance he's injured himself in the process here's Wallace the goal scorer for Portsmouth plays it to Bartram Bartram's first touch is poor Smith clears, but only as far as Winter. Winter plays it in. Wallace is through here. Wallace for Portsmouth. That should be game over. It's Jed Wallace again. Yeovil Town can't track his movement. He popped up in the area, totally unmarked. His low shot gave Chris Wheel no chance. And Yeovil Town, it's a long way back from here. Yeovil nil, Portsmouth two. Here's Story getting forward left-hand side for Portsmouth, running at Maloney. Goes back to Butler, and you imagine Portsmouth will play keep ball even more now. 2 0 up, they weren't taking a chance. He sees Westcar, digs it over, Wheels 3 0. Great finish from Craig Westcar. Got in behind the Yeovil defence, dinked it over. A neat lob over Chris Wheel, and it goes from bad to worse, I'm afraid, for Yeovil Town. Yeovil 0, Portsmouth 3. Nathan Ralph wins the ball inside the area. Shooting chance for Ralph from distance. Oh. What a goal oh, from Nathan great Ralph. Goal from Ralphie. Absolutely fantastic. In off the crossbar. Well, this game looks like a lost cause. It will be remembered for a fantastic goal from Nathan Ralph. A fierce shot in off the bar. Great goal seven from Ralph minutes there. left. Yeovil Town trail by three goals to one. Could there still be life in this game? Yeah, I mean, if they could have got a second goal, two late goals would have just given them a boost heading into that Bradford game on Saturday. I expect it to be a vastly different team that takes the field for Yeovil Town on Saturday. Hopefully players back from injury. We expect to see Jakob Sokolik. We hope to see Joe on Saturday. And of course Kevin Dawson and James Hayter not starting tonight. Just rested but that's the final whistle from Kevin Johnson as Yeovil Town go out of the Johnson's Paint Trophy this evening losing by three goals to one. And Joe just your final thoughts really? 
Really disappointed actually. I didn't um, didn't see that coming in the first half. I thought it was, we had more of the play. Lowe didn't create too many chances. I thought we were fairly comfortable. And I think a few lapses in concentration may have may have cost us there. And a few good finishes as well from them. So we have to pick ourselves up and go again and try not to let this get us down. Like I said, you got a big game coming up on Saturday. And hopefully if we can get a few of the boys back and we'll sort of go again in the league.